Moin Moin, I'm Yannick and this is Usopp Prod. Today I want to show you the game that I have created for the Blackthorn Prod Game Jam. This game jam was organized by Noah, the creator of the YouTube channel Blackthorn Prod, and it was a pretty large game jam with about 270 entries. The participants had one week to finish their games, but I actually just had about four days because of reasons. Yeah, different reasons. Let's say reasons. But in the end, I managed to finish the game in about 20 hours or so, so the time wasn't my worst enemy. The topic of the game jam was mini planets, so I started with some sketches of small planets and a large astronaut. Pretty soon, the idea of a small platformer crossed my mind, where an astronaut has to jump from planet to planet, while at the same time the gravity pull of the planets and the sun are interfering his jumping path to keep the game more interesting and challenging. With this idea in mind, I built a prototype with simple spheres and blocks and saw that this game has a lot of potential. As it's always happening when developing a game, my mind was full of stuff I could add later, like collectibles, hazards, black holes and planets of all different shapes and sizes. Even though I had many nice ideas, it was necessary to focus on the most important things first to be able to finish the game in the short amount of time that I had. The next step was to write all the code for the game to work. So I created scripts for player control, the movement and gravity pull of the planets and hazard, as well as a level management system. The objective of the game is to visit every planet in the current solar system and if available also to rally all the collectibles. After everything was more or less running as expected, graphics for the different objects were needed. That's when I opened Photoshop to draw, the background, the sun, planets, hazard, gravitation rings, explosions and the astronaut. To be honest, I didn't draw the explosion. I imported this asset from the Unity asset store because it fitted quite nicely in my game and thus saved me a lot of time. After completing 7 levels, I gave them a friend for testing with the result that they were too difficult. So I decided to make more easier levels to create a better learning curve for the player and to introduce all the different elements of the game properly. As a result, I got 14 different levels with a difficulty ranging from really easy to very challenging. But various people have been able to complete the game, so it's definitely doable. As a last step, I needed to polish the game. It's very important to give the player feedback on every action they performed. So I implemented different colors for the gravitation rings of the planets. Depending if the planet has been visited, then it's green, or if it's not been visited yet, then it's blue. For a more appealing scene transition, I implemented a smooth fading. But the most important part of polishing was adding music and sound effects to the game. Since I did not have the time nor the skill to create suitable sounds, I used sound effects from freesound.org and freesfx.co.uk. These are two awesome websites where you can find a ton of different music and sound effects under Creative Commons license. Links are of course in the description. To see the difference when sound is implemented versus when it's not, just watch the following gameplay. At this point, I just had to create a simplistic start menu and I was done. You can simply play this game on your browser at itch.io. A link to the game can, of course, also be found in the description. I had a lot of fun creating this game and I'm already looking forward to participate in the next game jam. And if you have any feedback on the game or at this video, just write it down in the comments. And for now, I'm working on a different project. I'm going to make a video next week, so stay tuned.